Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Um, hope you guys are doing well. This is gonna be um Nikolai video. This I am using the creature build, I just made a video one. Uh my my most recent um Nikolai video. So if you wanna see the build, check the uh the video out. And um but this the, this is actually a good game because they uh these these are the first survivors that actually got to uh, area three. I always like to record the matches that are actually quote unquote hard. Because I guess that's the the best way to really showcase the build, right? Is when it's actually a, uh, against the hardest competition to see if the really the build really st uh, you know stands or not. So these guys are actually well, they're pretty high level. Besides the um, the Jill there, but the other guys are pretty high level. But uh, I'm not sure if they're together or not. Maybe they are. I, yeah, I would imagine they are. Uh, maybe in a four or at least a three man squad there. So I, I I'm not sure that, but you know, based on how they uh, their names here, it seems like it. At least uh, those three high level ones, the Becca, the the the, the Val, and I think the Jen, they probably are together. Those those were would be my guests, my guests. So I have the uh, liquor uh, preset here, so they're on the uh, the third door there, the second door, sorry. So I'm already gonna spawn a few creatures here, just to give them some uh, things to some things to worry about. Waste their ammo a little bit. I see they got the shotgun as well. The shotgun wastes a lot of ammo. So that could be a good thing possibly. See right there the I was gonna spawn on the, the second room there, but I was kind of in doubt, so I figure I would just uh spawn on this room here. And as soon as they open that door I'm ready I'm setting up my ammo blades around here because I'm hoping I can get a kill here. Um just to see if I can get the kill here. Uh, the back is shooting my camera, so yeah, I was able to get the kill. And you see, like I said on the when I was making the video on this build, like the cooling fan, and how it really helps to have it. You see right here, the cooling fan coming into play. I kind of fucked up here. I, I thought she, I, I didn't really see her. The the Jan on the floor, I, that was a spray actually. It seems because she just got recovered with the full health. So I, I guess that was one spray already they they used. And you see right right now the energy. I th why I think it really helps having the green mod there because uh, sometimes, especially when you want to use the, you, you don't don't always just want to use the the, the creatures right. You want to have the machine gun so be able to get the energy back quickly. Is, uh, as you saw there, it goes a long way. Without the green mod, I would probably would have not been able to use the machine gun there. So again, I'm gonna try to. I, I, I was trying to hit all of them together there, but you know. I was, I was, because like it, it got a, a contact. The the models around had contact with the the body of the the gen, but I was hoping it would uh, not contact with the body, and I would I would hit all of them with the area of effect. You know, that was my idea there. So I'm really just spawning creatures here, but it seems like they're gonna be able to go to the next area, and they they actually got a lot of time from killing the creatures. But I'm guessing their ammo must be kind of low for for them to be killing especially that Val with the shotgun that's like three ammo for every single shot so I'm hoping they uh they kind of running low on ammo here but I don't know because you can never rely on survivors running out of resources because the game I don't know gives them herbs ammo just, just never ends so there's a trick I, I talk about on a few other videos you always want to zoom the camera before using the automatic ones like I did there so I have my combo ready here with the uh, I'm not actually trying super hard here as well, because uh, I mean, I'm already expecting to win, but I'm actually, as we play this game, I'm getting more and more surprised that they're actually being able to deal with everything, and they're actually getting a lot of time as well for from killing the creatures. Uh, that, that was a little bit of my mistake there, I actually got a nerve as well, for missing the, uh, I could have killed her there if I didn't miss a few shots there, but she's kind of low on health, so see if we can uh, make something with that. So I hear spawning the creatures. I try to push someone out, someone out, someone in there, which I got the Becca. Fortunately, she had a grenade there. I I, I feel like the the Val is probably using that ability where she uh, they get grenades from killing the creatures. Uh, that would be my my guess there. They they have like almost eight minutes on the clock now, but um again like I'm. You should never do this. Hope they run out of resources because they never do. But uh, I'm I, I'm kind of curious now that I'm watching the replay, 
as I do this commentary if they actually run out of resources at any point or not but you can see that Val is definitely out of herbs because she's still on the yellow thing there so she hasn't used another herb yet so she's probably out of herbs not out of ammo but definitely out of herbs uh, so she, they're doing what I said like if you to beat this build you really just gotta shoot the cameras so they're being smart about that and they are shooting the cameras um, right here I'm really just spawning the creatures uh, trying to you know because wasting some time at this point is I really have to kill them because they did have eight minutes on the clock so <coughs> killing them is really the only the, the only way to really get back at, at this game here this match at this point so doing pretty good there I'm gonna use a machine gun here try to get some damage maybe some kills um, they seem to I'm using the one of the passes that I changed here from the my normal build I'm using the tracking where they actually get tracked when they are low in health. Maybe that's proving not to be such a good idea. But uh, I usually use the one where they get uh, marked when they get attacked by the creatures with this build. That was like two flashbangs, I think, just from the back alone. So I really feel like they are probably using, like I said, the Val is using the, the that, that passive ability that gives them uh, grenades when they kill the the creatures. It must be that because see another flashbang I'm gonna use my uh, sh my invisibility here to avoid the flashbang so that's why it's really key that you have the extermination man is really the best one variation for nemesis I'm, I'm trying to go after Val because she has the key so st to stall for some time uh, but I need kills like I said so I'm gonna try to uh, do something here you gotta use nemesis to uh, turn the game around so Lose my nemesis here, but she's dead, so they're gonna have to come and heal her. Using the automatic here, I'm gonna get some more damage out of this. Oh, uh, that gen has the uh, the lockdown as well. Use my IV. Maybe I get some energy from that uh, energy leech there. I could really use the machine gun right now. Fortunately, I got the clone there. I'm just gonna stuck her in place because they're wasting time here, right? The creatures might be uh, attacking them as well during all of this. They're really shooting my cameras. It's just like I said, you know, the point, you, the way you beat this build is really shoot the cameras. They're, you see they're ignoring the creatures and really just going for the cameras. Usually the creatures would attack them, but because I'm, I keep getting the really bad creatures, I just keep getting dogs and the explosive zombies. It takes like 20 seconds to get off the floor. So they're really not helping that much. Usually you get creatures, you know, like a liquor, maybe a armor guy or something useful. I just keep getting the dogs, but that's fine. So again, ball is down. Uh, here comes the uh, the cooling fan. Kind of crucial, like I said, in this build like this. I'm gonna stop the heal just because I have the cooling fan on. Hopefully, I can down. I can close that door there, so they they're kind of stuck here with all the creatures. Hopefully, I can kill someone else here, or at least stop the save from happening. You see, finally the dog did something. <laughs> I was like, come on, man, they just keep running around and they never attack the survivors. They really need to change the dog AI, man, honestly, so they can actually be useful. So, I was trying to stop the heal there, but she still got, got in time, unfortunately. And, like, spawning creatures, like, every fucking where they just, they just keep running around as the survivors, but they don't attack them. <laughs> it's really annoying. That was too late with the camera, and it's still focused on the Jan, on the Jan instead of focusing on the Val. But she got killed, so and you see right there, the fact that I actually zoomed the camera made a big difference there. Otherwise, the the camera would have not have been fast enough to uh, hit the the Jan there. And you see, you're just trying to uh, finally the the Val is using her power here with the spray. We have the machine gun, so you see there are all of my cameras. I'm gonna try to down someone else here. Again, so I can get more pressure. It's the machine gun is really crucial in this build. And now it's time for the fucking Jill with the her power now. <laughs> it's like trying to get pressure, but they always get out of the pressure with some kind of power. But you see the trap there. I placed the trap on top of the save because I, I kind of knew they they would go step on it eventually, and so they did. Two of them actually step on the the effect range there, so. They're all back at the start of the, the scenario now. So that, that's a really good for me. It's going to allow me to make a good comeback here. Finally, the dog's attacking them as well. And she's dead too <laughs> from the dog. That's really funny. 
Since using the yes, EIS uh, blocking here. And I have Nemesis ready, so I can definitely make a good comeback here. You see, he's on the camera. And now uh, I'll have the speed on it as well. I'm going to use Nemesis here because they're all together, so it's a good time. I'm going to place myself right at the middle here so I can cover all areas. And you see, the range was high enough that... Uh, you see, I placed myself in the middle, so in case they ran, like towards me I could have still hit them on the left side you know <laughs> and the ivy still grab her so <laughs> I mean that was pretty funny and they're all still very far from the door so let's see if they're gonna make it or not because my I still have the nemesis so they still gotta get have to get through me so they, if they're smart they're just gonna stay on the um the safe room and I won't be able to kill anyone else right here I'm, I'm kind of waiting for the valve but she back off so I'm gonna back off too and now really I just have to wait way here because uh, my nemesis is gonna run out soon but if they go out I get a kill so more pressure she tried to dodge there but I actually did it too early and there goes her with the fucking spray again <laughs> see that must be a mixtape actually because she used it on the exit there it was that, that was what less than a minute and she was already using it again so that might be a mixtape foul now I'm just gonna set up the creatures here, cause so they have a, a hard time uh, getting getting to the exit there. Kind of slow them down here as well, and maybe get a kill, even more pressure. And see, Nem Nemesis is really the the power play, man. It's like if they get through the creatures like they see there, you can still have Nemesis at any point to uh, turn the game around with the pressure and everything. Now, unfortunately, the dogs and no nothing really attacked the, the Jan here there, so she was able to get to the exit in time. But, I mean, it's all good. They only have, like, one minute. And now it's area 3, so my energy is going to build up even faster now. you got to remember that I st I have the the green mod, so, you know, the energy is going to be, like, maxed out here on the speed. So, I'm focusing on this camera particularly just because of my, uh, my liquors are here, so I definitely want to get some buffs on them. Especially the the energy leech there, so I can get energy back. Now it's time for me to actually spawn the creatures close to them. Now this is not a good spawn. You see, they're spawning on my right side. I want them to spawn at where the dog spawn there. So I'm gonna switch cameras here real quick. See, I have two automatics now, one on each side. So they're pretty they're, sp they're pretty screwed here. And I still have the machine gun, so it's like it's like way too much, way too much. There, there's no way they're gonna come out of this. So it's like everyone's going down. That was that was actually like a kind of a ridiculous play like I literally had two of them like like 20 creatures and two liquors on like jumping around with buffs like dogs everywhere you had like two automatic cameras one on each side and I still had the machine gun on the third camera so that was kind of crazy it was just like a massacre at that point now someone at the back of DC there apparently so it took a little while to end there but yeah, as you can see, guys, the build they did they, they did pretty good with the build. But if, when you combine Nemesis, you know, with all this, it's kind of you know, especially in Era Three where they they can't really ignore the creatures; they have to deal with them because the 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 objective is kind of fixed place, you know, it's fixed place. It's really hard to deal with. So yeah, no, nobody has been this build yet, so it still remains invincible. And yeah, guys, that's the video. Take care. Hope you guys enjoy. See you on the next one.